something rare. spent so much time with each other it don't almost doesn't feel right when we're not Damn, where are you I can't see it but the other is still around use SAS to find it
Build you each hope.
still fight. reading near here. What do you want to do? There's a resource nearby. It doesn't look like they're storing data anywhere. I don't even see anything resembling research equipment. I think the facility is underground, but there weren't any stairs leading down from the first floor. 
We'll just have to comb the area ourselves. If this is where they conducted his personality rehabilitation, Nagi's data should be here. I wonder if Nagi managed to get away. I had all of you there to rescue me, but he was alone. You're still as kind as ever. Nagi! You did come back. Of course you did. I mean, we're best friends, aren't we? Looks like Nagi received even more personality rehabilitation. Because Nagi was regaining his original personality the last time we saw him? Personality rehabilitation. You traitors against glorious new Himuka are the ones who need rehabilitation, not me! There's no need to worry, Yuito. They specifically told me, you need to be alive when I bring you in! Stop it, Nagi! I don't want to fight you! Then come with me! We wouldn't have to fight then. Of course, I'll kill anyone else who gets in my way. So what's it gonna be? Come on, man! Don't let the personality rehabilitation control you, Nagi! Yuito is your friend! That's why I'm doing this! I'm steering my friend to the right path! I know Nagi can fight this well. If we don't use SAS, we don't have a chance. Do you need help? A smoke screen? Use clairvoyance, Mito. We'll be able to see Nagi. I've seen a lot of people whose personalities suddenly change like that. I should have started investigating earlier. If you did, you would have been personality rehabilitated too. Let's do our best to stop them from now. I won't let him get away. You're a Nori! Taking your fire! Still fight. Go, Yuito. Why the enemy and Nagi changed? Uh, there might be an opening. At this one. Lost. <laughs> No. 
not again. If I pass out during the fight. Yuito, I know that was scary. They're all done with the tests now. Honest. Let me see that brave face. You're okay. It's all over. Mommy! <laughs> A dream? About my mom? Why would I have that now? Oh, right. This ceiling. It looks like the hospital room from when I was a kid. The smell, too. Smell? Where... am I? <clears throat> huh? I can't use my powers? You can't use your powers here. Those restraints are designed to nullify your abilities. You're such a fool. All you had to do was play the patriotic hero, and you would have had the world on a platter. Who are you? Just a humble staff member of this facility. We've met a number of times when you were a child, but I'm sure you don't remember. We did? Have you forgotten about your time here in the hospital with your mother? Which means this is still somewhere inside the old OSF hospital. Where are my friends? No idea. Your friends are outside my jurisdiction. I'm in charge of duds. You mean people without powers? That's right. I was in charge of the experiments involving you and the Travers brothers. Unlike Karin and Luca, it seems like your psionic hormone levels are dropping. What? Now that I think about it, your psychokinesis was activated under some unconventional circumstances. Duds have an extremely low chance of manifesting powers in the first place. This could mean there's something special about your cerebrum. I'd like to ask you a few questions. Wait, I'm a dud? Oh, so you're missing your memories from when you were a dud too. This is going to be tricky. It seems your brain is accumulating damage as you use your power. I need to run some tests before I ask you any questions. I'm sure you've experienced episodes of sudden memory loss or having difficulty remembering your childhood. Wait! Please, explain it to me so I can understand. <sighs> it's simple. You were born a dud. Then you were hospitalized here with your mother, because this was still the OSF hospital at that time. We know that duds are capable of acquiring potent powers. The country sends all duds to this hospital, where we run medical experiments on them. I'm a dud? I had no powers? In any case, it's time to go back to sleep. Damn it! I can't stay awake. Yuito! Are you alright? Major General Fubuki? How... The program he gave us was able to tap into the facility's surveillance camera feed. I knew it would be dangerous infiltrating this place. I made sure I would be available if something happened. Thank you very much. I'm glad you guys are all right. I'm sorry, Major General. We couldn't get Nagi's memory data. Uh, right, Nagi. What happened after that? You suddenly collapsed, and Nagi... He took you, and then used you as... as a hostage. We were afraid of hurting you, so we couldn't attack him. We were locked inside a room. There was strange equipment. I think it was for personality rehabilitation. The Major General Fubuki showed up before any of us were rehabilitated, so we're all okay. You don't have to worry about us. Sorry. You're always rescuing me. Thanks, guys. Wait. It looks like... Others are gathering. I've disconnected the alarm. 
but they should already know Yuito's trying to get away. We have to escape the hospital. I've already shared the way out with Wataru. I'll hold them off here. But... Don't forget, I'm a Septentrion. I can handle myself. Take this. Don't lose it, no matter what. What is it? I'll tell you when we get out of here. Now go. You'll only get in my way. Okay. I don't see any safe area near here for teleporting. We have to run. Got it. Please, be careful. I have no power. I was a dud. I'm more confused than shocked. It's too much to take in. Nagi must have attacked Yuito under orders from the Nuki Nuka government. We should consider him as being completely under the government's control. I can't see it, but the other is still around. Use FAS to find it. Here we go! Leave it to me! Here we go! General Karin? Yuito, it looks like you've finally become a traitor too. What do you mean? Did the new Himuka government brand Yuito a traitor? Yes. I doubt you'd be allowed inside Suo. <sighs> Come to Seiron. You'll all be accepted as one of them. You're asking us to help Seiron? The same people who are sticking human brains inside others? Meanwhile, New Himuka is conducting experiments to metamorphose humans all in the name of producing a strong power. And at its center is the great city Suo. They're both twisted. They're both crazy. Then what do you want to do? Run to the religious fanatics in Togetsu? They're a religious state. They'd probably be open to taking in criminals such as yourselves. But Togetsu won't necessarily be a safe place this time around. This time? Just a figure of speech. Yeah. New Himuka won't be able to get us in Togetsu. They're an independent city. It is a little shady, though. Is that why you came here, Karin? To tell us this? <laughs> it was just an afterthought. However, take this if you're going to Togetsu. I can't drink this! I won't! Whether it's human blood or brains, you need to drink it if you want to live. Either way, you'll lose all your memories and powers if you choose to do nothing. The drugs are simply giving you time, so you have to drink it whether you like it or not. He's up to something. But what is it? 
Most likely saving Fabuki. Should we be helping him? No. Come back to the hideout. Major General Fabuki wanted me to tell you not to worry about him. Besides, I can at least monitor his status from here. Come back, so we can make a plan on whether we're helping him or running to Togetsu. All right. Hey, good job, everyone. Man, this unit's so cozy. Wataru! What are you doing here? I had a meeting with Major General Fubuki. I was supposed to escape to the hideout if they found out you guys snuck into the old hospital in Lokusho. I mean, I can navigate you anywhere as long as I have a PC and sign at. Which means that Fubuki predicted Yuito would be branded a traitor. So, he told Wataru to come here, since he is Yuito Platoon's operator. If they're going to make Yuito the bad guy, it makes sense to take out the person who knows what Yuito Platoon is up to. Good thing Wataru got here when he did. Otherwise, they may have subjected him to personality rehabilitation. Yep, that's basically it. I made sure they didn't know where this hideout was before I left. This was originally a unit for the Sumeragi family. It'd be bad if Chief Kaito found out we're here. But it seems like we're fine for now. I haven't told my brother that we're using this unit, but we should be careful. We own many others, so I don't think they'd find this place right away. In any case, I can't believe my brother made me into a traitor. Yuito... It's really made it clear to me that he sided with the government. Not that I didn't already know that. Anyway, since I'll be staying here from now on, rest assured that nobody will find this hideout. More importantly, do you still have the thing Major General Fubuki gave you? I have it, right here. What is it? It's for Arahabaki, a one-time-use keycode generator. Why would he give something that important to... Major General Fubuki entrusted the keycode generator to you because he thought he might not come back alive. Have you heard anything from him? I've tracked him leaving the old OSF hospital. He completely disappeared from all systems after that. I hope he hasn't been captured by the government. My brother saved Fubuki, I'm sure of it. We have nothing to worry about. That reminds me. I wonder if it's true that former Major General Karin and Luca were both duds. I'll look for him on my end, too. Besides, you guys don't have the luxury of worrying about anyone. They're calling you demons and hypocrites in Suo. Our stocks are limited. If you don't make contact with Togetsu or Seiron soon, we're gonna run out of supplies. How could they do this? They were just hailing him as a hero. It's fine. They shouldn't have been calling me a hero in the first place. There's actually something I wanted to tell all of you. It seems that I was born without powers. <laughs> but... you have powers. What are you saying? You know how I was being treated at the old OSF hospital as a kid? Seems like I was subjected to an experiment that caused me to acquire my power. I think the reason why my powers have been on the fritz lately is because they were artificially engineered. It probably puts a huge strain on my mind. Are you sure you're okay with telling us this? That you used to be a dud? Oh, is he sensitive about having been a dud? I mean, hiding it doesn't change the truth. And I figured you all deserve to know, considering all the trouble my unstable power caused you. It's no trouble. Really. Yeah, we're just worried about you. It's only natural for us to worry. But thank you for telling us. I've heard there are many people without powers, who live their life suffering in secret. It's sad, but I do believe that is the case. And if something ever happens, you know we have your back. Thanks. Alright. We should rest here a little bit and figure out what to do next. It will probably be impossible to recover Nagi's memory data now. 
I guess this means Major General Fubuki's plan will have to be put on hold. Late again, but it's fine. I forgive you. Uh, thanks. So, what do you want? I have some things to say about the way you fight. The way I fight? Yeah. I've seen you fight many times, and you have a lot of wasted movement. You're no longer a cadet. If you want to call yourself an OSF soldier, don't just flounder around. On the battlefield, you need to always be reading your enemy's movements and consider your next move. Use your brain. So he calls me here to criticize me? What the hell is he thinking? Hey, are you listening? I'm spending my precious time on you here. Hang on. I don't really know what's going on. Why did you want to talk? Because you helped me before, however slightly. I'm returning the favor by giving you some advice. That was advice? Sounded a lot like you were making fun of me. What? You can leave if you don't want my advice. I thought you'd want to get stronger. He's annoying, but he has been in the OSF longer than me. If he really wants to help, I guess I'll listen. All right, I'm all ears. A wise decision. You can't win without hard work. Though I'm sure that doesn't make sense to someone who was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. He can't stop with the insults. I bet he doesn't have any friends. Back to the subject. I told you to read your enemy's movements, but it must be hard for an inexperienced rookie to do that. Instead of relying on hazy knowledge, it's better to work on reaction time and calm decision-making skills. I see. Unfortunately, you lack both right now. It's a miracle you're still alive. <coughs> Was it incredibly good luck, or was it your teammates? If you don't want to die young, you need to get better. I listened to you, and all you did was insult me. You hate my guts. Any reason why? What? I go out of my way to help you, and you think that's an insult? Come on, that last bit was definitely an insult. Fine. I'll tell you if you really want to know. I haven't liked you since the first day I met you. Since I was scouted, I worked for years to get strong. I've been near death more times than I can count. How could I like someone who was born in the Sumeragi family and pampered his whole life? Who my family is doesn't matter. I'm my own person. No matter what you think of yourself, everyone else only sees the Sumeragi boy. That... that may be true, but... That's why everyone was prejudiced against me, even though I worked so hard. But if I say that, Shiden will have a field day with it. <sighs> if you don't like it, you have to become strong enough to surpass your name. But if you can't listen to advice, it'll be impossible. The fact that a volunteer soldier like you made it into Captain Seto's platoon had to have been because of your family connections. What? Another thing I hate is those dolls you guys collect. That little packin' or whatever. What's cute about such a weird little thing? There are some things you just don't say. It's Baki, not packin'. That's rude to Baki. What's with you anyway? You're just spewing insults now. What? You're the one who complained when I was just trying to give you advice. That wasn't advice, it was just nagging and insults. I've had enough, I'm out of here. Fine. What's with him? Did he actually think that was advice? It's like he's made of insults. Next time he calls me, I just won't show up. to this hospital when you were little as part of an experiment on duds? 
I can't believe they locked kids in a hospital to experiment on them. Must have been scary. That's unforgivable. I don't really remember it, but thanks for worrying about me. Oh, Yuito. I would like to talk to you. Hmm? What's up, Sugumi? I think I finally found that flower. Look at this. Oh! It's called a silent snowmelt. It's a rare flower that only blooms at high altitudes. Is this the one you saw? Yeah, this is the one. That's incredible. I can't believe you found it with such little info. This flower's natural environment is different from Suo's climate, so it took some time to find. What does that mean? It blooms on cold high mountains, so the temperature in your garden is too high. Growing it would be difficult. Oh, I guess that's why they always wilted. No, it's amazing that the flowers bloomed at all. I would like to try growing them myself, but... Is there a problem? Oh, you did say it was a rare flower. Yes, you can't normally get seeds or sprouts. There isn't any data about its natural habitat either. There isn't any information about how to collect them yourself, or where to look. I'm stuck. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. If they were in my garden, that means they probably grow somewhere in New Himuka. I... I want to search for this flower. Honestly, I felt bad about leaving all the searching to you, so I looked into it a little myself. The gardener who planted this flower already passed away, so I haven't got a single clue where he got it. That's sad. I'm sure he was good at what he did. Yeah, he spent a lot of time and care to raise it in our garden. And I figured out why I remembered this flower in the first place. After my mom died, I was really sad for a very long time. The old gardener? He knew she liked those flowers, so he planted them for me. I see. So I'm glad I know their name at least. Thank you. But... you haven't seen the actual flowers yet. It must be frustrating. Still, that's good enough for me. Thanks to your thorough research, I can look at pictures of the flower whenever I want. You want to see the real thing, don't you? I'll check some more. Huh? Oh, well... I'd like to see it if I can, but you don't have to go out of your way. I promised I would find it, so... I don't want to give up. Okay. Thanks, Sugumi. And I'll help in any way I can. Okay. She was really excited. She can be pretty stubborn sometimes. I didn't know that about her. Although, the fact that she let me see her like that means she's starting to open up. That makes me kind of happy. Are there any... problems? Um... I think things are fine right now. If you need anything, just tell me. I want to help you. I may not be very useful, but I'm here for you. to know you better too. We're the same. So I'm a rebel. I can't believe Suo is after me. I don't know if I should go to Togetsu or Seiron, but what Seiron is doing is unforgivable.
How have you been feeling lately, Yuito? I'm feeling great. Thanks for asking. Of course. Make sure to rest when you need it. Part of being OSF is taking care of your body. See you around. Are you going to work out now? Yes, my daily routine. Would you like to join me? Light exercise is good for maintaining your health. You're right. Okay, I'll work out with you. Maybe you can make a training program for me. I would be happy to. I promise to make the program that best suits your body type and fighting style. Great, thanks. Ugh, I'm beat. I'm so thirsty. Do you want some water, Luca? <sighs> no, you should drink it. I have this. What is that? A special protein drink that I concocted. It's best to drink it within 45 minutes of exercising. I've never had one. Is it good? I made it strawberry flavored, so it's easy to drink. The intake of protein is essential for building muscle. Not only do you work out, you even worry about your nutrition. That's amazing. Protein is well known to people who like exercise. It's nothing to be surprised about. It's not just that. The program you just went through was pretty hard. You're really stoic about it. Why do you want to train so much? Well, because I'm small. When compared to those around me, I'm always at a strength disadvantage. So I want to do all I can to lessen that disadvantage. A strength disadvantage? But why does that matter? There's almost no one as good as you in a real fight. You are a Septentrion, and you have top-class strength when it comes to a fight with powers. I do not want to rely solely on my power. Why not? You have an amazing one. I don't see the problem in relying on it. Let me put it another way. Power is something you are born with. It cannot easily be changed. However, muscles are different. The harder you work, the stronger they become. Isn't that amazing? Huh. Um... I guess it does seem pretty amazing, maybe. Yes, you're beginning to understand. Also, my brother is always ahead of me. No matter how much praise I get, I can never equal him. That makes me want to work hard. I see. I definitely understand that. Thank you for saying so. Since you are here, I'll tell you my secret. What is it? Wait just a moment. This is the backpack you always wear. Oh, that's heavy. What's in this? I've made adjustments to my daily routine to train my muscles. I have weights inside my clothes as well. You call them adjustments, but it sounds like torture to me. These extreme methods might be the secret to his strength. Will you put some weights in my clothes too? Of course. They are custom made to be removable. So I will put this here, and there you are. Great. Now I'll try to walk. Whoa! Oh, my body is swaying just from moving a little. <laughs> it's not very heavy, but it will be difficult until you are used to using your core. You can borrow them if you like. Now, I'll do another set. You can keep going? Yes, I still have a lot left to do. You can take a rest if you are tired. That's a Septentrion for you. I can't believe he always wears weights. But there's something kind of desperate about the way he's exercising. I feel like he's pushing himself too hard. Can he really handle it? I never expected you to be so odd, Yuito. Huh? Really? I thought I was pretty normal. What is normal in the OSF is not what most people call normal. It's very intriguing. I think I'm starting to understand you a little better. Really? I'm so happy to hear you say that. What's the matter, Hanabi? Why are you sighing? Did something happen? Oh, 
Yuito. No, it's nothing. Come on, you can tell me. We've known each other since we were kids. Yeah, you're right. Thanks. So, the other day when I was battling an other, I accidentally burned a building that was nearby, and Gemma scolded me. He said that my control of my powers was rough, and I'd eventually end up hurting those I need to protect. He doesn't mince words. He's right, though. I wasn't paying enough attention. Gemma asked me what I wanted to be as a member of the OSF, and to think hard about what I'm fighting for. The thing is, I still can't picture what I want to strive for. Right. You did mention that you never thought about what you wanted to do in the OSF. Yeah. And the things we've seen since joining, you know, the suspicious secrets and inhumane experiments, just awful things that ruined that image I had of the OSF as a kid. That's true. After finding out that the organization we're in caused a lot of suffering to so many people, I can't picture anything positive when someone asks me what I want to fight for as a member of the OSF. I understand that feeling of disappointment, finding out this isn't the organization you thought it was, but you're the one who's out there fighting. You just need to figure out what you're fighting for as an individual, not as part of the OSF. My reason for fighting... I'm not sure if I have one. I bet you'll come up with something if you think about it. I mean, if there's no reason, then why have you been fighting by my side all this time? It's because you... I what? N nothing I'll try thinking about it some more. Okay, but there's no rush. I'm always here if you want to talk. Thanks. It's not like me to doubt myself like this. Feeling sad won't change anything. All right. I'm going to find a reason to fight. Yeah, that's the spirit. Thanks for cheering me up. You were always cheering me up when we were kids. So it's my turn now. You don't owe me anything. But I'm happy to hear you say that. Thanks for listening. Sure. Just let me know if there's anything I can do for you. Don't worry. I will. Didn't I have something to talk to Gemma about?